Hooray, we are back. And you know what that means? Straight on to moving on. So we have basically just got to go to the secret sub level, which is exciting. Oh, so apparently I still have a want of being, uh, buying a computer. So let's go do that quickly. Just so I can get that out of the way. Bam, whoop, black. Bam, 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 bam. Give me a computer table. <clears throat> That'll do. And a computer. Just a cheap one will do. Oh, it's it comes with a desk. Oh, well, there you go then. Aspiration goal. Any more? Oh, man teaser. It's going to want me to build, like, just buy everything, doesn't it? Probably, but I don't care. Right, we're off to... See, basically get to the end. Yay! I'm excited. And this is a whole set of other goals, but I doubt it. <clears throat> How's my needs? Absolutely fine, let's go. Bam, bam. Okay, here we are. Whoop, like, wake up, there we go. Actually, I also want to change this to something else. Uh, probably best off to put it on smart milk. Uh, I guess put on meditation for now. Just so I don't accidentally press it. Hello, did that again. Coming from the uh, secret sub level. This veil, pa ve veil, <laughs> very pa pale man. What's the, uh, why can't I go down? Why can't I go down? Hi. Whoa, nice suit. Whoa. How do I get in? Ah, oh, there we go. I thought I booked it then. I was going to be like, oh no. Ooh. What's that? Why is there a shovel floating? Spooky. Oh, <gasps> secrets. The legend of the Minotaur is false. He actually had the head of a giant gerbil. <gasps> secrets. What's that? Pry open. <laughs> just kick it. What'd I get? I've just gained a baby. Oh. Oh, the photo album. Uh, holographic pictures of an alien family, apparently at the amusement park. Well, do I go back? Well, I gotta return the baby, don't I? So, well, isn't that my last task, though? It would be. But I gotta return it. So anyway, so I have to go back. Oh, there's the baby. I ain't weird. Pick up the baby. Oh, I don't like the music. Let's put that in my pocket. Hello. Ooh. This is spooky. I should go check out the other rooms. Yeah, I'll go check out the other rooms. I think I gotta get into that last area over there. What's in here? Oh, spooky. It's a morgue. What's in there? <gasps> Ooh. And a secret. Of course, go the long way around. Spooky. Your study of human governments gives you a humble one to charisma. The ultimate de uh, democracy would allow all people to vote on all issues and ruin them equally. That sounds right. That's, that's how we get what we do. Oh, that's how you change clothes. In a mug. Spooky. That's the baby. That's the last area. Oh, we're going to get to that later. Ooh. Things are spooky down here. Can I please? Oh, yeah. I thought I couldn't go in because, like, the other one, I couldn't. Ooh, let's go return the baby. Hello. I got the baby back. I got the baby back, baby back, baby back. Howdy. Where are you? Uh, oh, Mr. Smith. Oh, may I help you? I found a photo album. You found it in spaceship? No, it's in the sixth sub level under the lab. General Grunt knew about picture book. He probably did. And he kept secret while I searched in spaceship every night. 
Yep. That jerk human. Yeah, tell me about it. He's a bit of a, bit of a jerk. He is a jerk human. Okay, calm down. I got your pictures back, so I'll be seeing you. Bye. I've done good, I think. Hello. Don't I have your baby? I found Taicho. Get right in my pocket. I just pull up my coat. Oh, Taicho, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, no. That's Dr. Dominion. Why is he? I know he's looks a little green. I know. Is he perfect? Uh, yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Let me give you something. Uh, no, thanks. You don't need to. Well, thank you, anyway. You have my undying gratitude. No problem. Oh, no. Well, that's my phone I need to get. It's going to be Dr. Dominion being like, ah, ha, ha. Hello? Oh, it's Isaac. Hey, Isaac, what's up? Well, Dr. Do now. I mean, Dr. Dominion hasn't been back to his house in quite some time. Yep. And I've sort of been rummaging through his things, naturally. And well, I found a scrap of paper that you may find useful. And what does it say? It says Division 47 Orangutan. Orangutan. With four with fours instead of A's. Orang Gutan. Right, what does that mean? I imagine that's something at Division 47. Use the password. Orangutan. Something that belongs to Dr. Minion. <gasps> like a secret lab. I don't know. Pascal Curious told me that you're working there now. Thought you could check it out for me. What do you expect me to find? The end of the world. If Dr. Dominion is hiding something in Division 47, it must be important. It might even be the key to getting my Roberta back. So I must look in the most secret places of 47. It seems like a good strategy. Cool. Well, looks like I have to go to that basement. I assume that's what it's for. Orangutan. Off we go. This man in black is quite useless at stopping people, isn't he? Oh, well. I walk through that door. There it is. Ah. Double, double door open. Is this where I can use the password? Oh, no. I can't. Oh, okay. But can I and just... It's just been weird or... It seems like a place to use a password. Uh... I don't think I was meant to do that. Can I use the computer? Was it meant to be open and it just bugged out? Does it have, like, use a password or... Please enter your password. Oh, there you go. Rose. But woohoo! Spore, your password. Dominion. No, it's uh could be a orangutan. Please make a request. Tell me who you are. I am not anyone. I am a computer. But what's your purpose? I control the force through the protects of Dominion's teleportation unit. You speak very normal for a computer. What is a teleportation unit? It's a handheld device that allows this user to move instantly from one place to another. Can I use it to find Dr. Dominion? He's using a different device at the moment, but he frequents the same locations. You can probably follow him just about anywhere. Cool, boss. I got another question. Uh, instantly? If you don't count load times, then yes, instantly. <laughs> I can go anywhere. Programming new coordinates in the site uh, is an exacting and difficult task. Dr. Minion has preloaded the ones he uses most. So I can only go to certain places. <clears throat> yes, but you can depart from anywhere in the world. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, can I have it? Are you just opinions? Well, yes. I find it difficult to believe. Your verbal patterns are different from his. How are they different? If I told you, you would merely imitate them. I'm sorry, but I cannot release a teleportation device to you without proof of identity. What kind of identity? What about a picture? You must pass the identity test. Okay, what's the identity test? It's a series of five questions that only Dr. Minion could answer. How many do I need to get right? All of them. Cool, let's take the test. It says because of five randomly chosen questions. Sure, I'm going to save. <laughs> Not for any particular reason. The land where Paradise Place now stands was once used as a difficult, uh, different purpose. What was it? I imagine a graveyard. What did the crashed UFO at Division 47 come here to, to do? He told me, didn't he? I think, my, I think Smith told me. I think it was to deliver a valuable package. For what intention did Lo uh, Loki Beaker obtain a secret patent? Patent. Oh, I don't remember. 
I think it was the earwax vacuum. No, wait. Yeah. Well, oh, no, it was electric vomit recycler, wasn't it? Oh, it's one of these two. Go with the vacuum. Let me take it again. I have a four to prove I'm Dr. Dominion. You've probably proved that you're not Dr. Dominion. I am too. You're not. I'm too. You're most definitely not. I am. I'm quite certain you're not. I am. You're not. I never will be. I am. I can't count the ways in which you're not. But I am. This immature pr display proves that you're not. But I am. You realize this is a computer. I never tired of this. I'm not. I'm too. You're not. I'm too. You're just definitely. I am persevered. <laughs> Fine. I take the test again. Ugh. Okay, I gotta leave and come back again. Okay. What is the passcode? Ah, I wrote this down. Uh, there, 24601. It's the library package. How many goes have been living in the state? Blast off. There were two, but apparently they're meant to be free. So I'm gonna say free. Where is Johnny Smith? Well, now he's lying low. He's hanging out with Dead Tree. Which scientist of Division 47 is working with the dudes in black? It'll be Vidkund. If I answered all five questions correctly. Hello, Doctor. I'm sorry I did not recognize you at first. Not a problem. I'm asking why your verbal pants have changed. Freak boating accident? I drank a lot of juice. I changed brains of a chimpanzee. I want to test. I want to test the identity test. I suppose that test, even test, must be tested. Don't get testy with me. I am not. Perhaps your testosterone levels are a bit high. I'll get those tested. Quite so. And I believe you wish to gain access to the petition unit. Uh, yep, I did, and I still do. I'm disengaging the falsehood now. Thank you. No, thank you, sir. Goodbye. Whoops. Nope. No. No. I'm good. I assume that that door is meant to be open. Well, it's worked. So let's just uh, proceed. I didn't cheat the test, I just forgot what the. Uh... It's a pretty good secret I made. Ooh. Pick up. I came to do perk. Ooh. So now I can go find him. Right, so let's find out. Beep. Right, well, let's go to first. Oh, the monument. I want to see what the other places are like, so I'm going to go to service station first. Nothing. I imagine it's the monument. But I just want to, I just want to see what it was like. Where does it take me on each one? Back home? Bizarre. Cool. Onwards. And dead tree. I just realized I have my window open and there's a dog barking. I just realized. So I'll close my window, even though it's quite hot in my room. Okay. <clears throat> Back to my seat. With lots of noise and good. Alright, well, nothing here. Beep. To the monument. You're about to face Doctor Dominion at the height of his power. You should just save your game right now. Say yes, please. Yes. That one. Here we go. Now, oh, heavens! It seems you've caught me. Whatever shall I do? I'm gonna start a clever retort on you. <laughs> you know that I'm joking, right? Your arrival was merely part of my elaborate scheme. Oh no, you're gonna tell me your elaborate scheme, aren't you? You better not, sorry. Five years ago, when I was only a young EMT. I don't care! Yeah, sure. I was haunted by the distinct impression that I was not completely in control of my actions. Most of the time, I would decide when to eat and sleep and watch television. But then out of nowhere, some external force would seize me and force me to do things I didn't want to do. This uh, entity made me study constantly and go to work every day to make more money to improve my house. <laughs> I was severely depressed and he refused to give me any kind of break from this work study by treadmill. Oh, that's what I do. I'm like, that's exactly how I play. <laughs> Damn it. As my skills in the realm of logic improved, I suddenly realized what was controlling me. It was this. What you? 
The screen diamond over my head, it was controlling my mind. So I invented this helmet which allows me to control the diamond and use it to manipulate other people. But why? And why did you need me? Have you noticed there's something different about you? Nope. I noticed at the moment you arrived, while everyone else is in town, but follows the same stupid routines every day. Oh my god, they do. Only you seem to be acting of your own violation. I don't know. Isn't it a bit strange that everyone seems helpless to solve their own problems until you arrive? Maybe. And then they all just turn all their worries over to you like you're some kind of hero. What are you getting at? You're saying I'm the only one with free will. Quite the contrary, you are the worst slave of all of us. You are the protagonist. You are being controlled by an outside force. I don't believe you. Your controller won't let you believe me, but you're so prophetic. And what can I do? Shh, don't listen to him, Louis. You can do nothing. You will resist me no matter what I say. It is I that must do something for you. Which is what? This! I will use my brainwave amplifier. Eh? Using Beezle Beef's milk for fuel and Roberta Rosam's brain as a control system, I can reach through your mind. Yes? And take control of the beast that is controlling you. <gasps> no! This horrible creature thinks that it's merely playing a harmless game. It feels no compassion for the lives it destroys. I'm not destroying anything, though. But I teach to respect me. Dr. Dominion! Ha ha ha! You're insane. Perhaps, but at least I'm acting on my own. How do you know you're acting on your own? I take control of the diamond, I built my machine, and say this runs against your controller's best interests. But that's a game. But if my controller thinks it's playing a game, then it needs opposition. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Louis. What are you talking about? Not everyone here has a diamond over their heads. Some just follow scripted routines, right? Get to the point. What well, if you have been scripted to be the antagonist? Someone wrote your story to provide me with a challenge. Impossible! I command my destiny. Me and me alone. I am Dr. Dominion. Somebody wrote that line for you to say. <laughs> no, you're trying to cloud my mind. I won't let you. Your mind doesn't exist. It's just a string of commands in a file somewhere. <laughs> no, I'll stop you. I'll stop you right now. Hold on. No, come back here. Oh, he's back. I'll talk to him in a minute. Get here. He's just laughing at me. Quickly, use a machine. Oh. Oh, God. I think my fingers weren't in the right place. Right, go, 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 go. Did it. Got it. Another pig. Pull the pig. Ah, uh, pull the pain! I got stabbed. There's a secret there as well. I want the secret. Yeah. Get out! You're you're safe, Mr. Pig. Got you. Ah! He hit me from a distance. I got you. Don't worry, I can tase you. Got you. I'm meant to be this far away. Oh. You can do it, Louis. Take control. Yes. Gotcha. Take control of him. Ah! Oh, the secret. I forgot the secret. <gasps> oh. It's okay, Roberta. The Dominion. He's gone. Don't take the hat. Don't look, take the hat. Ah! Hi, nice for you to drop in. What? How did I get here? I reached out to grab my control device. He touched the Dr. Dominion's mind control device? Yep. Does that mean you caught him? Did you find Roberta? Actually, I have her head right in my pocket. Oh, wonderful. So I got her body all put back together. Thank you. No problem. Here's your hyper attractor thing. I got no idea what to do with it. Thanks. So what happened to Dr. Dominion? Um, he kind of exploded. I've learned disappearing. Why? That could mean just about anything. It could be the sequel. What? How much do you tell you? I said that I'm the protagonist in an elaborate game and we're all being controlled by an outside force. <laughs> oh, I guess he truly was completely mad. Yeah, 
<laughs> so what are you going to do now? I'm not really sure. My car is being used to power Dr. Minion's machine. It's probably a total loss then. Yeah, it was a crappy car to begin with. Well, I see you have a couple of options. Yeah. You beat the bad guy, rescued the damsel in distress. I even rescued the giant evil cow in distress. So you won. You can quit, sit back, relax, feel good about yourself. That's my other option. Well, there's always plenty of to do in Strange Town. I'm sure there are secrets left to uncover, a few goals left to pursue. I don't know if there's an awful left. Actually, I've accomplished, accomplished an awful lot. If you get bored, you can always go and touch the mind control device again. It might have some predict predictable effects. Uh, who reminds me, why did the device send me to you? I'm not sure. Maybe you were thinking of bringing Roberta back to me, and that's what gave you what you wanted. Now, I was thinking to myself, was that Dominion right? Is there some kind of mastermind in control of everything in my life? <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you. I'll keep thinking about it. No, thank you. I don't know what this town will have done without you. <laughs> Nod. I'll walk off in the sunset or through the front door. Whichever. Well. That's... Huh. Is that it? Well, let's go back and get that secret and talk to that guy. Before I get to I get to any sort of ending. Ooh, spooky. Give me the secret. Mora and Murphy predict that every year computers will go double their capacity to go wrong. Nice. That is right, actually. Hey, my car! What's up, dude? Hey, good work with Dr. Minion. Thanks, what are you doing now? Open a new garage? Uh, maybe, I don't know. First thing I'm going to do is figure out this machine. Now it's a work of art. Cool, don't try not to take over the world. My car? Well, I suppose that's it. Oh, it looks like that's the ending. Oh. Oh, let's go then. It's a... S Ooh. It's a cheat. I think of money and I get money. You're now a money sim. Oh, it's a new aspiration. Cool. Well, there you go. That looks like it's it. Is that it? I think that is. Wow. That. I, wow, is that really it? That was really cool. <laughs> the ending was awesome. Let's go back. Let's see it. Let's have a little look around. Maybe, maybe some people have some exclamation marks above their heads. Where's Mr. Smith? Be Mr. Smith. Oh my god, I'm just surprised. That was awesome. <laughs> Hello, tank. Well, what do you know? It is. Let's go back to my house. See what she says. The lady. Uh, I forgot her name. Emily or something? And if not, I'll do the outro. Howdy. Oh, there you are. Hi. Uh, greet. Can I talk with you? Okay, no, nothing. Well, that's it. Huh. What do you know? So, guys, there you go. We have completed The Sims 2 on PSP. That was really awesome. I've never completed this game. I'm so glad I could do now. It's very, very, very funnily self-aware. Like, that, the jokes made me so happy. Especially the ending. That was a really nice little fun ending. Yeah. What else can I even say? I think that's it. Yeah, totally awesome. If you ever, if you find yourself in the hands of a PSP and Sims 2, definitely give it a go. It's even though you've, if you've been watching this far, you've pretty much seen it all. But I don't know. It's very fun. It's very humorous. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. It's probably one of my favourites. I just remember being really paying the bum for loading times on the PSP. But all right, that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been an amazing experience. Amazing little playthrough. And I hope to see you all next time on whatever video I'll be making next. Please check out the other stuff. I've done The Sims 2 on DS, uh, Game Boy Advance, Sims Busting Out on the Game Boy Advance, um, playing Sims 2 as well on the PC. Lots of things. Please check out and suggest any other um, Sim games or other games in general you'd like to see. 
Oh, I love this game. I love The Sims spin-offs. They're all so fun. And I'll see you guys next time on whatever I do. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.